Thank you, Mr. President. I'm speaking for proposed the vote of the resolution. I'm Richard Davey, AIA, Idaho Chapter. I'm also founder of Architects and Engineers for 911 Truth, representing nearly 3,000 architects and engineers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not rocket science. It shouldn't be that difficult to figure out how a building collapsed. It shouldn't have taken this six years to finish its investigation. Their lead investigator shouldn't have needed to say, we knew from the beginning that understanding what happened to Building 7 would be difficult. It didn't fit any textbook description that you could point to and say, yes, that's why the building failed. Actually, the collapse of Building 7 does fit a textbook description, that of controlled demolition. It fell in the afternoon of 9-11 after witnesses heard explosions suddenly, symmetrically, at free fall acceleration, 47 stories in seven seconds. Its structure completely shattered from top to bottom, like a house of cards. This is what controlled demolitions do to buildings. It's not what fires do to buildings. In fact, no fire has ever caused the collapse of the highways before 9-11. And the fires in Building 7 were insignificant compared to the dozens of much larger fires in high-rises that have never resulted in collapse. Most of us in this room readily, intuitively doubt, if not totally reject the notion that a large skyscraper could collapse symmetrically to its own footprint due to fire. And if that includes you, I urge you to follow your conscience. We owe it to our members and the future generations of architects to do the right thing. More importantly, we owe it to the public, to whom we are accountable for ensuring the safety of the buildings they use. To this day, most architects are still not aware of Building 7's collapse, in part because our institute, according to the General Counsel, has not published anything on the NIST Building 7 reports or taken any action. Today, we can change that. For the sake of our professional integrity, please vote yes.